After my first trip here, my perspective about tourism changed altogether. Heaven, heavenly life here, and natural, organic. Kerala is a state which is promoting tourism as a development option under the notion that this can attract uh, foreign exchange, this can bring employment opportunities for the people here. In reality, unregulated tourism promotion is causing a lot of problems like environment pollution, people are getting displaced by tourism projects. There are some big resorts of which we don't know how much of that income or whatever development is happening goes back to the community there. Hardly any. But here the whole concept is different. It's mutually beneficial. Travelers are getting benefited out of it. So are the whole of the community. An organization like Kavani, we are trying to have a comprehensive approach of oppose and propose. One hand, we are trying to oppose a bad model of tourism, which is uh, detrimental to environment and communities and livelihood and all. But on the other hand, we are also trying to propose a better model of tourism, which involves local communities and most of the benefits goes to them in various parts of the country. So when you travel with us, you are part of a transformation process. Okay. You take this. There is an exchange offer actually. Language exchange, skill exchange, culture exchange. Totally a sharing life. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I arrived yesterday and I was welcomed with open arms and last night we all had dinner together and they're just going about their normal day. Mary, she is our first homestay provider. The courage that she had to start off a homestay at that time, it was incredible. I thought, I adjust I tension first guest time. The experience that she shares now with other homestay providers, give them lots of confidence. They were asking, how about language? How do you communicate with them? I said, karke, karke, both acha, acha lagta, karke, karke, confidence ho gaya. Be careful. There was a, a serious uh, agrarian crisis here, which was really devastating. A lot of crops uh, uh, destroyed by uh, climate change. I think more than 10, 10 or 15 people suicide uh, in our village due to this crisis. So in this time, um, the organizations, the company come forward and they said how we can save the people in the village. So this team, I liked. So I, uh, I agreed to join with the, the company. Before company, the farmers, they did not have another option rather than agriculture. They did not have enough money to send their children to higher education and so on. But now they have travelers coming here and they are contributing to their economy and they are contributing to their own uh, level of different growth. If you have a passion and you can meet people with similar passions when you're traveling, then of course that's amazing because you can learn from those people and start to see your own passion or industry from a different perspective. We've met so many beautiful local people. They're so caring and so compassionate. 
One family member will take us to pottery, another one will be guiding us around the town. Lots of different experiences, so you really feel like you connect when you're here and travelling in this way. Ultimately, you are dealing with communities like uh, farmers, women and other local communities. Otherwise, they are not in tourism. So our role is basically bringing them into sustainable tourism, which is a very a long-term activity. You cannot expect a result tomorrow. So we had around six to seven ladies who are going to be the part of this homestay here in Makotila. They are more normally housewives. So we have given them a, a part-time job or a full-time job wherein they get a chance to meet the people outside. They go to see the world outside. We had a little role plays and games through which we could build the confidence in them. When you have guests coming, when you interact with them, when you share your experience, when they share their experience, it all empowers the women. The women must meet and rehearse quite regularly where they get together and you know they had all their little kids there and all the other women and they were laughing and having a great old time. Working with the team at World Nomads it's been quite humbling to see another side of travel. A kind of travel where we can give back to the people and the communities that we visit. When people buy insurance with World Nomads, there's um, technology on the website that enables people to choose to make a small donation. They can choose the amount and they can choose where the money goes. The money has been raised and given to the village of Matakara, where there's a whole bunch of different training initiatives taking place. Uh, the people who are involved in this program uh, changed a lot. <laughs> so they are reaching into, into the level of uh, self-fulfillment and a spiritual level of uh, you know, their life. I've been working a lot in many parts of the world, setting up community tourism programs. But doing something similar in your village is a very uh, you know, special and of course it is also a bit emotional. <laughs> Ettara gastu mana alam, awiril nandu, nama ku oro prasio padikian endu. Future, I think more tourist ane kelly, I think I like. My grandfather used to tell me lot of stories about Gandhi and how he changed certain practices in India. In my life also, that's my dream. We would really like to inspire other communities all over the world with this experience. And that is something Kavani is uh, dreaming for for future.